Lately I've been having some issues with these little pins that hold the ramps into the back of my car hauler. These little pins are pretty common. They come with a little bit of C channel. You pull it back and you lock that little roll pin up into that slot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Or you can kind of pull them back and kind of flip them up and hold them open. They kind of get out of the way of the ramp, but not all the way. Problem is they're so thin that the pin ends up bending and breaking and you lose a ramp going down the road. I went over to Harbor Freight and picked up a couple of these 5 8 hitch pins. They got a nice little rubberized handle on them. Went over to Ace, picked up a couple of 5 8 ID bushings and a couple of springs that are about the right length. This is what I ended up with. And I'll show you how I put that together. First I ground off that old pin holding it in. And then pulled the old pin out. And then I wallowed out the holes to 5 8 and then I put one of the bushings in the bandsaw to cut off a little sliver. And here's what they look like. Make sure that hitch pin slides through there nicely. Trim back the rubber from the collar. Next, feed the pin through the outer tab. Put one bushing on the inside, one bushing on the outside, and then feed the pin the rest of the way in. Now you want to clean off the black oxide finish on this pin so you can weld this bushing on. And then around the outer edge, you want to clean up this tab to allow you to weld this bushing onto there. Thicken it up, make it a little bit more rigid. This inner edge is already okay. It's got the C-channel from the original pin and the C-channel from the ramp, so it's plenty thick. It's time to weld this bushing onto the outer edge of the outer tab. So slide it into place, put a couple of tacks on there, pull the pin and finish welding it. While that bushing's still hot, slide the pin in and melt that edge that you cut off earlier. Next, slide the spring and the bushing into place and feed the pin through. Next, compress the spring and lock it out of the way with a pair of vice grips, and then slide the bushing down into position to weld. Start with the tack on either side and then continue around. That's not coming off. With the pin locked in the open position, I'm gonna take a grinder to this tip. That ought to do it. 